So a couple videos ago, I told you guys that I sold the Rasa 8. Well, we're going with the Hyperstar on a C6, a lower cost option with a lot more flexibility, tunability, and everything else. The problem is, is that after throwing it all together last night and trying to make it work, it actually was worse than my Hyperstar was, like a lot worse. Hence the reason why there is nothing on the mount. So here she is right here sitting on the bench right now because we're about ready to do some actual tuning and maintenance on this thing. I kind of want to put it in a little bit of a better scenario here though so I can show you guys exactly what is going on with this. There's actually some really unique pieces that I got as well that I want to go over from BuckeyeStargazer.net. Um, Joel, his web shop, I'm going to put a link to it. This guy has some awesome 3d prints of things that we really need and that are super useful. There's a bracket on here for the electronic autofocuser from ZWO, like a quarter of the price of the one that you would buy from ZWO for the SCT. I've got different mounts, different focusing masks, which, you know, I'll use, uh, maybe a couple times. Uh, cable router, he's got everything. Mounts for the ASI Air Pro that will go onto rails, dovetails. You can select any kind of combination you want. So definitely check out his website. To get our C6 Hyperstar running at its optimal position, the first thing we have to do is we have to center this secondary mirror on the C6. Now, in Celestron's infinite wisdom, and this being, I guess in their mind, a budget scope, they decided to not put centering set screws on this thing. It's literally just a corrector inside there on some felt pads. So last night I was trying to figure out how to do things and taking different shots and everything was just really bad. I had an entire crop off of my screen on one side. Now I know some people, including Queeve, just kind of eyeball theirs and I don't know what his look like. I'm assuming they look fine because his images look good. I spoke with Starzona, they gave me some advice and some pointers on what to do as far as shimming this thing out. It's a very precarious situation right now because the scope retaining ring for the corrector is off and literally it's all just hanging on here. And I'm looking at the computer screen and it looks like way better already. So I just pretty much have to let gravity and shim do its things here. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So inside the corrector here, there's little felt pads that this entire thing just sits on. And that's pretty much it. It's just held in place by the retaining ring and you kind of get what you get. So if you look at my screen right now, that looks pretty good. We've got a pretty even image circle. We got a little bit of like, you know, vignette in each corner and that is fine. That's what we want. So last night when we were shooting, we were kind of getting something like this where it's kind of just off to the side. It actually was about like that right there. So what we're gonna do is they told me to just kind of center it up, use gravity, and then I cut a bunch of pieces of little cardboard that I'm just gonna stuff in between the secondary mirror and the retaining ring and that should hold it in place. So I'm just kind of moving this around right now and trying to get an image that looks pretty good and central on that screen. So super high tech solution here. You can see that I'm just basically wedging in small cut pieces of a business card in order to help keep this thing centered. And it's working out pretty well. It's a little tedious, but I'm getting great results. You know, that's uh, what we're looking at right now, which looks very, very good and circled. So now the whole point is just to keep it to stay that way and not move around. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm just filling in one piece at a time to keep this thing from moving.
Okay, I think this is where we're gonna leave it. And this is what I had to do. You take a look here. I decided to just shim around the entire thing as much as I could. You can see all the white pieces of paper stuck in there and this thing is solid as a rock now, which is just awesome. Was not before. So that's what you gotta do. Just cut little strips of paper, let it fall, and then just kind of position it the way you want it, start shimming it. There's the four felt pads in there that kind of get in the way, but you can you know, kind of cut your shims shorter if you want to decide to do what I do and just put them all around. And that is our image circle right now, which looks a gazillion times better than it was. So now all we got to do is just throw the retaining ring back on here and we should be good to go. Gave the, gave the secondary a good cleaning and everything and we still have a good, we still got a good image circle there. So uh, there she is all in her glory now. Camera attached, retaining ring and everything never coming off again. That was a good scrubbing and it didn't move anything we should be good. Now I do need to remove the Hyperstar and bottom it out. Starzona recommends to just go ahead and bottom it out once we get this done and work out from there to make sure that, you know, we're dealing with a complete even flat type of optical instrument and then we can adjust the collimation from there if need be. So guys, that is how you center your corrector plate on a C6 for Hyperstar. When the clouds part, we're gonna see exactly how well we did. We'll talk to you later, peace.